Hi, good to see you again. High five, big hug, and a kiss. Want to know what we're going to talk about today? How about this? Would anybody like one of these? That's a dollar, a $20 bill, right? Well, I could send that to you and you could take it to the store and you could hand it in, but it wouldn't work, would it? Because it's fake or counterfeit. Can you say counterfeit? So um, a counterfeit bill means it's a fake bill and you can only use it when you are playing a game or pretend. Um, but how about this one? Now I bet you'd really like to have this one. This one is a real $20 bill. And we're gonna talk about some of the differences. Let me show them to you next to each other. So one of the biggest differences that you see is that the, the real bill is larger. Now the paper is kinda of similar, but the paper on the, doll, on the real bill is um, a little rougher, I guess. But there's some differences, like the pictures don't look the same, and while there's a shield or the, uh, the, the crest on here, it's not exactly the same. Um, here you have where it should say United States Treasury. With the Treasury mark, we actually have a paw print. So you can pretty much tell which one is real and which one is fake. You know, as distinct as this $20 bill is, there are people out there who still try to make fake $20 bills. They um, get the paper and the ink and the colors and um, they use the right designs to make counterfeit money but even when you do that you can tell that a $20 bill is counterfeit. You know how? If you hold it up to the light, I wish you could see this, but if you hold it up to the light there is a little line and I don't know whether it's plastic or metal but um, that little line that you can't see when you just look at it um, tells you that it's a real, real, uh, authentic piece of money. The Bible says something similar about us. You know, we can go to church, we can sing all the songs, we can put money in the offering plate, but God doesn't just look at those kind of things. He looks at the heart. The Bible says, the Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And that's from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 7. In other words, you just can't fool God. So I want to challenge you to be real Christians, not counterfeit Christians, but real Christians. Let God change the inner fibers of your heart so that when people see you, they don't just see a smiling face, but they see the true heart of a Christian. Show who you belong to by your words and your actions. Well, that's it for today. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for loving me even when I am unlovable. Please change my heart to be more like your son, Jesus. And all God's children said, Amen. I'll see you next time.